children welcome back so what did we see in our previous section we saw that we will have to choose our topic and it's very important because what are we going to do we are going to deliver our speech we are going to prepare for our speech and the first c that is content now that we have chosen our topic of course that is also broad huh? it's still broad and which which topic did i choose i chose water under environment okay now let's go ahead and see what is the next step okay in order to prepare for our speech we are not there yet preparation of speech is at the end of this entire lesson before preparation of speech there are other preparations that we need to do let's move ahead and see what is the next step so what are we going to learn today we are going to see how to do research on our topic now that i have chosen a topic let me do a research and start writing my speech here also i will give you certain steps okay there are eight steps to researching your topic first step you must have seen this earlier also right brainstorm your ideas so what am i doing i'm brainstorming for my ideas i have already done a brainstorming session and what was that brainstorming all about it was about deciding on the topic okay so i i chose a broader topic called environment then i realized okay there are there could be n number of topics under uh, environment then i kind of thought in my mind depending on my interests my hobbies and my knowledge that i'll speak on water so i did a brainstorming session for choosing my topic now i'm going to do a brainstorming and this i can do with uh, my own self or i can take help from my parents peers friends siblings whoever i want to take or reach out to my teachers and what am i going to do here i am going to do a research research and before doing a research i will try to find out what is the source from where from which i will get my points for research now i could go and do uh, a research on water so my topic is what what have i chosen water all right okay now what am i going to research on how am i going to research on how much time should i spend on it what are the avenues for me to research on all these data points i have to work on and i have to brainstorm okay you can do it on your own also and but there are certain steps that we need to follow i can take help from my uh, family my friends my teacher whoever i want to reach out to but this brainstorming is very very important in fact brainstorming brainstorming means putting our thoughts together it's important in every aspect of our life so why leave it when we have to give a speech so do a session for ideas what kind of things am i going to do research on okay so that is what brainstorming for ideas on researching of our topic is now let's move ahead and see what are the next steps okay now now that i have decided that i will maybe go to uh, an external source or i will maybe go and read out these information on net or i will read out a book okay so those um, medium of research i have decided now what am i going to do i am going to read the general background information about my topic okay i am going to read the general background information now that i have decided that i will go to either newspaper or internet or i'll read books or i'll i'll go to an expert and talk about i will i will formulate a background information what is it that i need to know about my topic okay that that structure i'll have to find out here what am i going to talk what am i going to research on that background information i will have to find out all right from the sources that i have decided to do my research from so this is an important step moving ahead and i had told this to you commit when you have committed on a topic be committed focus on your topic what happens you know when we start doing research and there is so much of information available everywhere we kind of lose track so we should focus when we are doing a research we should focus on our topic we should not deviate from the the main uh, points that we, we we would like to discuss on or main points that we would like to deliberate on so next step is when you are doing research on your topic and and let me give you a caveat once again we have not started writing our topic yet we are just a uh, speech yet we are just researching on our topic now so i'll have to keep my focus on my focus if this is my focus i'll have to keep my focus on i cannot deviate from my 
the topic that I have chosen. Uh, I'll give you an example here. If I have taken water as my topic and um, while doing research, I am I realized, okay, uh, under water, if, if water again has so many uh, depictions, ocean water, okay, river water, then a lake, then rain, Then I decided, my God, there is so there is a lot of scope here. Let me get away with this. I don't want water. Let me go back, go back to lesson number section, uh, lesson four, section one, and choose my topic again. So that is again wasting wasting of time, as I told you in my previous section also. So focus on your topic. If you have decided this, go ahead with this. Do not get overwhelmed with information. You will get a lot of information, but do not get overwhelmed. Okay. Now, what am I going to do next? I am going to make a list of useful keywords. Very important, useful keywords. What are the keywords? I hope you all know what is a keyword. Keyword are in a speech, let's say you've written one page speech which consists of 200 words. Okay, your speech is 200 words or maybe you're reading a book which has 200 words. There would be some 10 or 20 words which get repeated, which are important, which you can connect with your audience. So, these are important words. Okay. So, make a list of these important words. So, if I am talking on water, what could be the important words that I can uh, choose or I can make a list on? So, that those keywords I will have to decide. So, number fourth step is I will have to literally write down these keywords. In next sections, we will see how to do this through mind mapping. Okay. So, I will write and useful keywords. Again, don't deviate. You have to focus on your topic. So, useful keywords related to water. I will give you some examples. Mm, I, in my previous uh, presentation also I showed. So, if it is water, what all could be the keywords for water? Okay. Life. Water is life, okay? Because water gives us life. One of the five elements is water. Water is precious, okay? This could be another keyword. Water is scarce, okay? Which kind of water is scarce? Drink, drinking water. So, drinking water. However, 70 plus percentage of earth is covered with water, but drinking water is scarce, which is limited. So, another keyword could be scarce, alright. So, these kind of keywords you will have to keep on writing and this will help you when you will have to frame your speech. So, the important words, there could be maximum at max in your speech, you can have 10 keywords because you are not going to give a speech at this stage, you are not going to give a speech of half an hour or one hour, okay. Your speech could maximum be for 5 minutes. So, you can have 10 important points or keywords to talk on. Now, let us see what are we going to do next once we have decided on our keywords, okay. Now, you would be confused, right? I told focus and then be flexible. Now, let us say uh, there are certain keywords that you have chosen which you might not be able to adapt to writing or which might not help you in formulation of your speech. So, be flexible in that case. Do not be stringent. Focus and flexibility are two different things. Focus means I will not deviate from my topic. But flexibility means I will uh, try to adapt to certain changes if need be. My topic will remain the same. I will adapt to certain changes. So, I will be flexible enough to make changes. So, that is what be flexible means. And this is all about researching on your topic. We are not yet at the speech preparation stage, okay. Now, step number 6, define your topic as a focused research question. Now, um, you what you will have to do is you have taken the keywords and all that. Now, taking those keywords, you prepare a questionnaire for yourself, research questionnaire. What all am I going to talk on? So, ask those questions to yourself. All the talking you have to do to yourself, okay. So, I had given you example, I chose what? 
um, under water, what all did I choose? I chose um, water is life, right? I chose water is precious. I chose water is uh, scarce, okay? I chose water, um, drinking water is scarce, of course. So let's, I just, let me focus on these three keywords now. So if this, these are the keywords, I will have to frame questions on these keywords now. Life, why? And when I'm framing questions, these are the questions I need to, this is how I need to frame question. Why, what, where, which, when, and how. Okay, so frame your research questions using why, what, where, which, when, how. Uh, keep on asking questions, keep on writing it down using those main keywords. So that is what define your topic as a focused research question is. Keep asking questions, keep writing these questions on a notebook. That is going to help you in preparation of your speech. Now let's look at the last two points. Step number seven. Research and read more about your topic. Now that I have written my research questions, I need to find answers to these questions. Now I'm coming to that, it's a funnel. It's kind of a funnel. A broader topic, I cut it short, I came to main keywords. Now I have written a research question, but I'm still not here yet. I'm at the middle of the funnel. Now what I'm going to do is, whatever questions I have drafted for myself on uh, water, okay? Water is, uh, I mean the keywords, precious, life, scarcity and all that. Now I'm going to research and read more on my topic depending on those keywords. All right, now I will do a further research. I will answer these questions for myself. Okay, that is the step number seven. And while I'm doing that, I will again go to the either primary resources or secondary resources for my, for answering these questions for myself. Now who, who are these? These are, this, this could be people, these could be uh, magazines, journals, internet, wherever I need to get information from, I will draft the answers to my research questions. And that is the actually the last step. Uh, sorry, step number eight is formulate a thesis statement. Now don't get scared because uh, normally research PhD scholars and all that, all those kind of people write thesis. What, what do I mean by thesis statement here is whatever research questions you have written and you have found out the source for doing your research, now write, a, write all these statements on why is water scarce, why is water precious, where is water drinking water found, what are the sources of drinking water, which are the places where um, there is scarcity of water. So all these questions that we have asked, now start drafting a thesis. Thesis means just answer these questions for yourself. That is the step number eight. All right. So once you have written down all these steps, now you are at the, uh, you have covered the half, half the funnel. Now you are arriving at writing your speech. We are not there yet. There are two more sections to cover before you start writing for your speech. So I'll see you on the other side wherein we discuss on main points and all that. So I'll see you there. Keep tuning in. Thank you very much.